Can you tell us what happened in your game today against Lalit? Yeah, first of all, I should apologize to all the chess fans that uh, I created such a game, of course. I, I, sh I, I should apologize to all the chess fans that uh, what I did towards this game. But, um, well, as you may notice, I played seven women players out of nine rounds in this tournament start from very beginning. And it makes me feel quite upset and unhappy for this unbelievable and uh, weird pairings. I'm, I'm, I'm even talking to my friends like I'm making another history here again that uh, for playing so many women, women's players in an open tournament, probably, you know, the first uh, example came from the history. So, well, generally speaking, I should keep my words here towards the parents because that was not only my per myself, I mean my personal parents, but also for the other women players. So are you saying that the reason for the way you played today was your dissatisfaction with the way the pairings went in the last few rounds? Uh, exactly, not only for the last few rounds, but the start from the very beginning, the whole tournament, and as I mentioned, not only for my personal parents, but also for the other women players, and it makes me really, really upset. But is that something that you brought up with the arbiters or the official organizers today before the start? I mean, before today's game, did you bring this up with the organizers at any point? Yeah, I came to the chief arbiter even, I think, the day before. The day before yesterday, yeah, when the parents announced very quickly after the get round eight, so before the round nine already po pointed out to the actors, uh, yes, but um, unfortunately, the things are like going on this way. Right, and looking back at the incident, do you feel that this was this was something that you wanted to stand up for, but do you feel that this was the best way to go forward with it? Yeah, I mean, it's already the thing happened. So, but we're chess players, and of course, uh, when we're playing a tournament, we wanted to show our best performance, trying to create interesting games for the chess fans, for organizers, for the people who love chess. And that's also the responsibility for the players. Yeah, but uh, something happened, we should look positively and uh, to step forward, then backward. And is there some sort of uh, uh, solution or anything after your meeting with the organizers that you have come to uh, an agreement or a solution to what has happened now? Well, actually, I thought it was more than clear what I already said, right? So I just hope that the attention could be coming to the final decisive round. And what I also hope is that the parents you know, for the for the future events, it should be like under 100% fair situation. Right, absolutely. Now, Yifan, you have a huge influence over the chess world. You're one of the biggest icons and personalities. So what would be your message to the people who saw what happened today or to your fans, uh, your final message for them today? Yeah, of course, I'm very appreciate that uh, all the chess fans, friends, and the chess lovers who supported me for the whole career because of their help, I could grow up like a, a player until this moment. So uh, as I said at the very beginning, of course, uh, what I've done for this game, um, I apologize to all the chess fans who has very excited feelings trying to follow this game. But uh, um, as what I do normally and usually, I believe that in the future, we will create more fantastic games and hope that it will it won't influence their how to say their feelings with chess but it will increase increase their loves for this beautiful sport thank you so much and we wish you all the best thanks Brian, we had quite a big incident today at the Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival as the founder of the festival what happened give us your viewpoint well, I think that when you're running something as big as this, uh, from time to time, uh, uh, we're going to have incidents. Yeah, uh, This one happened to involve uh, Yifan. Uh, she's uh, very popular with me and very popular with the tournament, that she's a, a huge player. I think that one of her games is possibly up this time to being the best game of the tournament. Uh, she's a great player, uh, and we love having her. But she's also the world championship world champion, the woman's world champion. And of course that brings responsibilities with it. 
and uh, perhaps when she reflects, she will think that, well, maybe I could have handled this in a slightly different way. Uh, she happily hasn't really damaged the tournament in any way. Uh, if anything, I think that that damages hers rather than the other way. Uh, I think that we're listening to what she's saying about the pairings. Uh, I think that we're sympathetic to what she's saying about the pairings to the extent that they concern her. Uh, I don't think that the pairings are wrong. I think that they're a reason for concern from her perspective. Um, I think that we'll get through this. She's a great professional. Uh, I will look forward to having her back in Gibraltar again. Uh, and uh, I hope that she will come back and play again and that these sort of what I call bad days at the office uh, don't occur too frequently uh, because otherwise uh, we then have a bigger problem to deal with. But uh, I'm sorry for Yifan uh, because I think she let herself down a little bit today. Right, now Brian, you're one of the organizers who strongly promotes women chess and that is a very integral part of the festival. And of course, Yifan has been a sort of a brand ambassador and an icon for that. How does this affect the relationship and what agreement when you had your meeting with her, what is it that both of you spoke about and decided? Is that something you could reflect on right now for us? I think that uh, this makes it more difficult for her. Uh, if she wasn't the world champion, it's still not a good thing to have done. Uh, but being the world champion, it actually makes it more difficult and that role, as I've said before, carries responsibility. I mean, one of the things that we do here, uh, and Yifin is at the forefront of that, I must say, is she comes, always that she plays when we ask her to come. And, uh, you know, we are promoting women's chess uh, and uh, I'm hopeful that we will continue to do that. Uh, it's a bad day at the office and I think that we both recognize that and that we'll walk away from it and be bigger the next day. Right, and now just my final question, Brian. Yufan herself has done a lot for women's chess and promotes it, so you both are on the same plane with that. Now, uh, she was dissatisfied with the pairings. That is what she said was her reason for it. Is that something the organization will look into? Well, it's quite tricky because these things come out of machines. Uh, these pairings are not made by people. And, you know, I understand if I was in her shoes and I was playing, suddenly I pulled a draw of six girls, one after the other, I would say also what is going on here. But clearly nothing was going on. Uh, it comes out of a machine and sometimes the odds fall that way. I think she recognizes that and, uh, you know, I think that we need to move on. All right, well, that's what we're going to do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed.